everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner and I lied, I'm back with another video. I finally put together the kits that I had been um, working on, wanting to, to get together. These kits are for the beginner junk journaler. Um, it's a kit with everything you need to make a um, junk journal. Um, I have six of these available. And I'm going to show them to you right now. Um, before I forget, um, I, I, I'm not going to record another doily video, but my last one is still up and I still have lots of doilies available. I'll put the link to it down below if you are interested in any doilies. Um, there's still lots available. So, um, But here's the kit for today. I'm going to start off showing you it comes with an actual um, journal that I made. It's, it's a naked journal. Um, it's fabric covered. It measures 7 inches by 5 inches. It has 30 pages um, which, uh, 30 pages which equals 60 sides to decorate. Um, I'm just going to flip through it real quick. It has no decorations at all in it. It's all um, the decorations are over here. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, it's just a scrap of paper, um, coffee dyed ledger paper. Um, this is a book of poems. Some um, masking paper music paper, coffee dyed um, writing paper, an envelope where you can put a, um, a tag in, a page from a book about birds, more writing, this is a text uh, textbook page, this is a page from that German um, book of poetry, more writing paper, um, graph paper, a page from a children's book. Um, I believe all of them, this is from Little Red Riding Hood. I, I believe all of them have a page from Little Red Riding Hood in it. Um, more ledger. And then the back side of all of those. There are some um, tip outs that you can glue down and make pockets if you want. Or tuck spots. There's the back side of the envelope. This one has a tip out. And one more. One more tip out. So that's the journal. Um, here are the, the pages that are going to come in the kit. There's going to be two of these. Um, oops, I need to come back out a little bit. Two of these collaged um, coffee dyed folders. You can cut these up into individual or smaller tags. Tags and journaling cards. Just put a focal point on your tag and then you're done. There's a couple of pieces of scrapbook paper, the offcuts from the inside of the journals. And then uh, another skinnier offcut. You can use this to make a belly belly band in the journal. It's already the right size. There are two pieces of um, vintage wallpaper, two different designs. There's a piece of this mesh. Um, I got. Large sheets of this. It's like a plastic. It's not metal. It's a plastic mesh. Um, and what I use it for, I use it to as a stencil. Um, come down a little bit. Here's an example of a tag that I used this with just a um, vintage photo in the regular dauber through it. Um, let me. This one's in the kit. This one's mine. All you do is put it over your your tag and just tap, 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 and there you go. You've got a, a pattern. You can do it on your the blank pages in the uh, in the journal. So each kit will have a piece of that for you to decorate pages with. 
Um, the book pages um, in this kit, there's a variety of different ones. Um, this one is, it's a book I got at that estate sale, Deciphered Germanic Records. How to decipher Germanic records, whatever that means. There's different interpretations and then in the cursive of it. I like the typewriter font of it. So that's one of the pages. There's another page from that German poetry book. This was from, I believe, 1902. Um, there's a page um, double page from that old farmer's almanac that I showed in a previous um, previous video from that estate sale. This is very funny, funny reading. It's uh, it's um, very different. Wait till you see that um, page from a vintage dictionary, 1958. Page from a songbook. And then a page from, this is another book that I got when I went back to that estate sale and got some more books. Beaton's Book of Household Management. Um, this is a reprint from 1960-something, but it was originally published in 1861. And it's all about the, the housewife's management of the house in the Victorian era. It's very interesting interesting reading. Um, there are recipes in here, menu planning, um, how to pick a pick a doctor, um, some legal things. It's very interesting and it's a very big book. I'll be using this for a long time. So there's a um, double page spread from that. Of course these will all be, be different in each um, each kit. Um, there's also in this kit two paper napkins in two different designs, so you can do um, some for your collage, collaging on tags. There's a Yahtzee scorecard for journaling. There's one of those memorandum of record um, pages. There are two guest checks. There are two little tiny um, CD envelopes. Aren't they cute? There is a vintage postcard um, I bought at the auction about a couple of months ago. An entire shoebox of vintage postcards. They were obviously from a collector because they're all in these sleeves. Um, you'll get it in the sleeve so you'll be able to use the sleeve for something else maybe in the journal. Um, and there's no writing on the back so that's good um, journaling space on the back. If you don't like the image on the front you can cover it up for a tag. Um, there's also two of these souvenir, vintage souvenir, um, little cards. They're from a, a set. Um, this one is Gettysburg PA. And then this one is uh, the Dells, Wisconsin. And they're all vintage. These will be different in every one. But you'll get two of these vintage um, little souvenir cards. You'll get a library card, a uh, library card holder, two of the recipe cards, index cards. Here's what's cooking. Recipe from the kitchen of, and it's got a vintage stove picture on it. Uh, two different flashcards. One is about telling time and the other one is a um, mathematics flashcard. And then three Rolodex cards. You'll get 
two glassine envelopes, two shipping tags for you to decorate. This glassine envelope has um, two vintage playing cards. One has um, flowers and the other one is a farm scene with a horse and, and um, horse and buggy. And then um, a, an assortment of postage stamps. Uh, most are used, different colors. For the fabrics that are in this kit, oh, I forgot to take something out. Um, at an auction, a couple of weeks, or uh, not an auction, an estate sale, there was a quilter. The, the person was a quilter, and there's lots of quilting squares. So there's going to be a variety of different um, sizes, colors, patterns of uh, quilting squares and three different sizes. You got a larger size, a smaller size, a medium size, and then a smaller size. And these will be different in every one. I tried to get put in a variety of different colors and patterns in each one. These you can use to decorate your tags and um, fabric flips. Um, there is a piece of, come on, a piece of lace that is um, scalloped at the bottom that you can use to make a, a fabric flip. There's another piece of lace that has a scalloped bottom. This one is more sheer. There's a piece of eyelet lace. There's a piece of, let me see if I can say this right, I always get hung up on it, feed sack fabric, vintage uh, feed sack fabric. Another piece of gold lace. And a sheet of this script, it's pretty script fabric that I printed on my printer as a handwritten script letter. Whole page of that. And there are also there's also an assortment of laces that you can use for your the tops of your tags or the edges of your pages. Um, there's some little narrow ones, some eyelet. This one has loopy things on it that you can dangle stuff from. There's a black one. There's this one. This one that you can run ribbon through. There's some, um, this is this one. A little dainty one. Uh, let's see, there's some fibers in here too. Got this fuzzy white one, this gold or brown eyelash, and this kind of a brown cording. And it's tied together with a scrap of scrap of something crocheted. <laughs> So those are the, the little laces in there, and there's also, I want to take this apart, well I guess I can. There's also, here's another um, fiber around this, but there's 12 of these tabs, um, two of each um, design, it's just an assortment. The tabs that you can put on the top of your your tags or your pages. That's from that Stampin' Up. I was fortunate enough to, to buy that Stampin' Up punch when it was available. Because apparently they don't make it anymore and it's cost a ridiculous amount to, to try to buy one now. Um, and also in, let me get something to put this in, in this kit 
is an assortment of smaller um, smaller decorations, vintage buttons. This will all be different in each one. Buttons and beads um, in the the or the journal. I left the, the tails so you can tie some beads or buttons or something on the bottom. Um, here are two um, paper clip dangles that I made. Very simple. And then just an assortment of uh, vintage buttons and some small decorations, vintage decorations that you can use on your albums as well. Nice little assortment. So that is the kit. Uh, make sure I didn't forget anything. Nope, and that's it. Um, I have six of these available and they are $35 shipped in the U.S. Um, if you are, I'll also ship outside of the U.S., but it will be a little bit more, obviously. Um, if you're outside of the U.S., contact me and I will let you know um, how much more the shipping would be. Uh, and that's all I have for today. For today, um, let me think. There's something else I wanted to say, but of course now I can't think of it. Well, as soon as I close the video, I'll think of it. But that's it. Bye for now.